name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. To prepare our hearts to celebrate this great mystery of God's love, let us call to mind our sins. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The word of God is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even more between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. Since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. The word of the Lord. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinance of the Lord are true, all of them are just. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went out along the sea. All the crowds came to him, and he taught them. As he passed by, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the custom post. Jesus said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed Jesus. 
While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners sat with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many who, were, who followed him. Some scribes, who were, some scribes who were Pharisees saw that Jesus was eating with sinners and tax collectors and said to his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this and said to them, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. While meditating on the gospel of today, and especially the words of Jesus Christ that concludes the gospel, those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. It made my mind to go through what has happened and what is still happening today in the year 2020, when we have gone through this pandemic. And when you look back, you will come to realize that if there are people who have stood with the sick during all this year, it is the physicians, it is the medical personnel. For a whole year up to now, it is these physicians that have been there with our sick brothers and sisters. They have seen them in their last moments, even when their families were not there. The political leadership was absent. The physicians were present. Even the church was limited in their presence, but the physicians were there. And they have been there through very tough moments, seeing people die minute by minute and trying to rescue some of the sick. So the words of Jesus Christ are words that we see in our present time. The physicians are there for the sick. And Jesus uses this example to show us how he has come to be with us, more than even the way the physicians are there for the sick. He doesn't come only at the time of call. He comes and he embraces us. He comes to be with us. He comes to be one of us. He comes in order to liberate us, to transform us, to heal us, and to give us that strength that we have lost through sin. And that is why he was so much close to the sinners. He did not leave or wait for the sinners to come to him. He went to them. And in going to them, they invited him into their own house. Not just a house which is a building, but into their own house that houses their souls. And through that, we see the transformation that went along with that. Levi, who invited him today, later on became one of the great apostles that followed him. What Jesus requires from us is to be open and to react positively to his inv invitation. Just as he told Levi in this gospel, follow me. And Levi did not have any question. Jesus tells each one of us today to follow him. To follow him into the path of righteousness. To follow him into the path of truth. To follow him into the path of love and charity. To follow him into the path of mercy and forgiveness. Let us ask the intercession of our mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, that as she responded to the call of God through faith and obedience, we too may be transformed in our hearts. 
that each day as we gather to receive Christ through this Eucharist, we may be transformed and we may have faith and obedience that our encounter will bring a change in our lives and in the lives of our brothers and sisters. Let us now offer our petitions to God. For our leaders and teachers in the church, that they may faithfully proclaim God's words as living and effective, sharper than a two-edged sword and filled with salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For peace and the courage to take the steps needed for peace, that the words and thoughts of world leaders may be such as to find favor before God of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. That we may imitate Jesus in his outreach to those who are far from God, especially to our loved ones who have abandoned the practice of their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are in, the, in a period of testing by poverty, sickness, or any kind of suffering, that Jesus, who was tested in every way that we are, may keep them from sin and bring them triumphantly through the trials. Let us pray to the Lord. For our beloved departed ones, and especially for Louis Mazatenta, for whom this Mass is offered, that they may now confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to be united with God forever in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. God our Father, accept and bless these prayers and many more that remain deep in our hearts through the intercession of our Mother Mary as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of the arm of Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the birth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contract heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord. And may our sacrifice in your side this day be pleasing to you. Lord, wash me from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <clears throat> As we honor the memory of the blessed of the mother of your son, we pray, O oh Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice made by your grace make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God.
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of the, of the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To proclaim your kindness as we echo our thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's end, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. <clears throat> Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter the world. I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Amen.